It's no secret that gaming has become more and more efficient, whether that's RuneScape, World of Warcraft, or literally any other game you can think of. Players now like to play meta to maximise their time, and that's why RuneLite, a plugin for the old school RuneScape launcher, is so adored by fans. It's that cemented in RuneScape culture now, if Jagex tried to remove it, I think they would lose a huge part of the player base. And the great thing I've always enjoyed about RuneScape is there is no incorrect way to play the game. And whilst that was always true before RuneLite came out, it's now given players even more ways to customise their journey. Now, I myself really enjoy wilderness content in the game, and luckily I've discovered there are many plugins for RuneLite that can maximise the enjoyment out of wilderness content, whether you're a PKer or you're actively avoiding PKers and just prefer PVM. There will for sure be a plugin on this list for you to enjoy, so let's look at the 10 RuneLight Wilderness plugins that you need in 2023. In at one we have the World Hopper. Now I discovered this recently and I've been using it so much. You can even use this outside of PvP. You want to type into your RuneLight configuration tab, World Hopper, enable it, and click the cog on it and you will see the following options as you can see there are multiple options but the main ones i use are the quick hop hotkeys and the show world hot message in chat what the quick hop hotkeys enable you to do is to set a hotkey on your keyboard to switch to a previous or next world on the world list and you can even filter that down even more based off region free to play or members and also world type these hotkeys mean you don't have to click the logout button or switch worlds with your mouse, which of course may only save you two or three seconds if you're trying to evade a PK quickly or you're world hopping to buy runes from Mage Bank. It's either going to save your GP or save you a lot of time in the long run. The show hop to menu option is great too because it will show in the chat box the previous worlds you have hopped to. This helps me as a PKer as if I hop and notice someone I want to attack as I'm already in the transition of logging out, I can see my chat box and know exactly what world I was previously in and go back there quickly. A very useful plugin and I can assure you once you get the hotkeys memorized you'll be utilizing this all over RuneScape. Next we have the large logout plugin, exactly what it says on the tin. This plugin enlarges your logout button which of course makes it easier to click, which could be the difference between you logging out from a peak hour in time or unfortunately losing all of your items. A very simple one, definitely worth getting. Next we have the default tab plugin. This plugin sets a default tab that your game will switch to on login or when you world hop. There is also an option for both. For me as a PKer, I like to have it set to my spellbook so when I log in, I can look to Teleblock or Freezer Player straight away. I also PK with Dragon Claws, which are a very expensive item, but you may want to have it set to your prayer book so you can quickly item protect. Whatever's more beneficial for you, but a very good plugin if you're a PKer. And speaking of item protect, I've recently been using a plugin called the Protect Item Notify plugin. This plugin shows you a protect item graphic on your screen when you don't have the prayer enabled. You can resize this to make it larger or smaller and you can also move it around your room light to wherever you like by holding alt and then moving it with your mouse. You also have the option to only have this plugin show up when you're in the wilderness or out of a PVP safe zone. Bit of a niche plugin if you're forgetful like me, it's always nice not to lose dragon claws. Five, let's talk about keybinds. This plugin is called the Key Remapping plugin and it enables you to change hotkeys on your keyboard to whatever you like. You need this because on RuneScape, the game only allows you to change your individual tabs to F keys. However, you can then swap in this plugin your F key to something else. So for example, here you can see in the RuneScape settings that I have F1 for my special attack tab, but then you go into the RuneLight plugin, I have F1 remapped the caps lock. This is very helpful if you want to take your PK game to the next level. But I know as well as you do that learning new keybinds can be tough. So in at number six, we have the keybinds overlay plugin. You can set this to match your keybinds and what this plugin does is aid you visually on screen as to what keybinds you have set. Again, you hold Alt, you can move this with your mouse to wherever you see fit and you can order them in different orders and remove any you don't have hotkeys for. Of course not for everyone, but definitely will aid you in learning those hotkeys faster. 
In at seven, we have wilderness lines. What this plugin does is show you the line of tiles on which the game changes from multi-combat to single combat or vice versa. They also show you the level 20 and 30 lines, which are lines where you can teleport from using certain teleports in the game. You can also recolor these however you see fit in the plugin, but word of advice, if you don't want to get smited for something, don't go into multi. And if the kid is running into multi and it seems a bit too good to be true, you're probably being baited by a 25 man clan in discord so get out of there asap at eight we have player indicators this is a plugin which enables you to highlight players either on your main screen or on the minimap you can filter players through different colors for example you can have clan members as blue friends as green and others as red but as usual with room light it's good at letting you optimize and change the plugin to however it works best for you individually I don't use it personally, as for me, it's too much clutter on the screen. But definitely don't take my word for it, try it out for yourself. In at nine, we have the Ferox Warning plugin. Ferox Enclave is the hub, regardless of what you're doing in the wilderness, and a lot of players utilize it. This plugin will flash on the screen if your stats are drained in any way to remind you to use the Restoration Pool, which is located just north of the bank in the Ferox Enclave. Just a small plugin, it definitely has its use if you're forgetful. And finally, at 10, we have inventory setups. Now you can use this all over RuneScape and I would recommend that too, but it definitely helps in the wilderness for quick and efficient banking. What this plugin does is you can create a worn item and inventory setup. For example, you can see here, I have one called Tribrid PKing. If I click the eye icon, it tells me all the items I need, both worn and in my inventory for that specific setup, so I don't miss anything. However, this plugin gets even better because if you click the icon on the far left, the bank filtering icon, when you view this gear setup by clicking the eye icon, your bank will filter to only those items, meaning you don't have to go searching for them. Really good plugin and I recommend starting to add your setups soon as possible for quick and efficient banking well hopefully some of you can go away from this video and add some of these plugins to your rune light and have a better runescape experience don't forget to leave a like if you did enjoy the video that's all from me until next time